Hello and welcome. My name is Seshu and I'm part of DVCom support and training team. In this video, I'm going to show it to you how to configure TSS keys in Yaling T48U. If you follow my previous videos, I have shown to you how to register Yaling T48U with the star PABX through AutoProvision. After that, I shown to you how to do the manual. Now in this third video, I'm going to show it to you how to configure the DSS keys. And before you are going to do the configurations, let's go and check my laptop policy if you are new to this video. You can see here, I have a star P550, which is the PABX and I configured as 192.168.5.150 and I just connected directly to my network switch from the network switch I have connected my Ailing T48U IP phone and I have enabled the DHCP in a star P550 PABX so that I got the IP address is 5.200 that's the IP address of my IP phone so in case if you are able to see in my previous video you can able to see that what's the IP address has picked up Okay, so in this video, I'm going to show it to you how to configure the DSS keys. So let's go and have a look. Open the browser and the type the IP address is 192.168.5.200. You can able to see the login page and enter the username as admin and password as admin. Then click on login. So once you log in here, you guys can see here there is a status you can see the status like from the status you can able to see what's the IP address of your IP phone and what's the subnet mask what's the gateway what's the firmware version you can able to see everything so in this video mainly I'm focusing on DSS keys so for that you just go to the DSS key click on the line key and you guys can see here there is a three options are there the first one is line key second one is programmable key third one is extension key so as I told you, this phone T48U is going to support the expansion module as well. So in case if you want to configure the expansion module, you just click here and you can able to configure it. Right now you see here it's saying that no expansion module connected. Please connect one or more units then refresh this page. So that from here you can able to configure your expansion module. And second one is that programmable keys. So the moment when you see that, let me show it to you and you can see in my PPT just go here and you can see here in my PPT there is a soft buttons are there so these are the soft buttons and these are my arrow mark up arrow down arrow and all and these are some programmable keys so these are all keys you can able to configure it guys so in case if you want to configure it those keys then you need to go here like from the programmable key and from there you can able to change it according to your requirement so by default history is my soft key one and directory is my soft key two and dnd is my soft key three and four is my menu and up arrow down arrow left and right arrows so you can able to do according to your wish you can do complete changes and now i'm going to show it to you the line keys and you guys can see here it's going to support up to 29 line keys guys that's a beauty it's a soft keys on my phone I can see 29 soft keys guys so right now there is a two line keys which is configured for my line which is 1001 and 1002 but line 3 what I'm going to do I just want to configure for BLF or busy lamp field or speed or speed dials and voicemail or pickup or group pickup call park intercom whatever you want you can do it guys so but I want to configure it as a BLF so busy lamp field what's the value I just say 1001 so basically busy lamp field is nothing but I just want to see whether 1001 extension is available or busy you can able to see that so that if he is talking to someone the reception what she can do for example let's see here let's see here this is the phone guys okay on her phone she can able to see like this small icons like this okay small buttons over there okay so for example if I configure here 1001 then what she can do she can see whether 1001 is available or not whether they are going to talk to someone so that's the status of busy lamp field and i configured here one more button as 1002 so that she can able to see whether they are busy or they are talking to someone or they are available so that's the beauty of it in case if you configure as a speed dial so you just press that button and you can dial it 
so that that extension you can directly dial it that's the beauty of it so these are the many features are available guys in this phone so that you know even if you have a small requirement like you know you don't want to go for any expansion module you can just simply configure up to 29 line keys from here so i just configured here uh 1001 i can say the name is extension 1001 so i want to give it for line 3 then after that confirm now you guys can see here on my phone i can able to see that 1001 so and again in case if i want to configure the speed dial <laughs> for the 1001 then i just say this is for extension 1001 or i just want to configure it okay 1000 okay this is my speed dial for 1000 guys then after that you can say confirm yeah so right now 1000 is speed dial is configured and in my previous video i showed to you the micro sip right guys so let's open the micro sip and let's go and see it here okay so this is my micro sip which is configured with 1000 so just press 1000 here see the phone is getting ringing i just i'm i didn't die so let's go and disconnect this call. Thank you very much. See, right now the voicemail is activated so that when I disconnect the call, it's going to the voicemail. Yeah. So you can just see here what I did. I just configured the speed dial as 1000. Then after that, immediately the call it went. So uh, the reception, what she can do, she no need to dial the number. So you just see on her. Uh, phone she can able to see 1000 just, just press the button then automatically the call is going to connect and also the busy lamp field it's the same in case if you want to configure some other speed dials or some other pickup groups call park whatever you want guys you can able to do it from here that's a beauty of your e-link and you can see here line key 1 to 11 12 to 20 21 to 29 so up to 29 keys you can configure it guys that's the beauty of it so that if you are to you know configure all these line keys and this is like a completely customized according to your requirement so that's the beauty of your uh, t48u phone okay so in case uh, if you have a, any related to the sales inquiries please send an email sales at datawise.com if you need any support please send us an email support at datawise.com i hope this has been informative and i would like to thank you for viewing